everyone, it is time to see finally what I received from Fancel. We have a cross stitch tools, accessories, and of course beautiful canvases to stitch and enjoy every minute you do that. We will start with tools. Now, the tools we have. Okay, this tool, to be honest, I already tried to order maybe like three times and it never show up. Uh, I don't say from Fancel, but I ordered before and for some reason this this uh, never kind of arrived to me. I don't know why. <laughs> but finally I have it. So this is actually very cute. It's even better than I thought, to be honest. Oh, wow. Okay. So we do have in here... Uh, are you are too far away from me okay here is uh, looks like a Mickey Mouse I don't know what's remind me of the Mickey Mouse so we have a two threaders in here smaller a little bit bigger one but it's actually smaller than we usually receive with the cross stitch and then we have this wire threader right in here can you see that can you see that can you see that okay and then we actually have a cutter inside of this ring all the way go around you can see it's sticking out all the way so this is interesting we have like one two three four in one tool so we're definitely going to play this with my next cross stitch uh, whip video and we will see how this is gonna go through the needle it's really thin i have to say it's even like it's wiggle hopefully not easy to break but very very thin too but it's cute and they have in different colors so i just love this minty kind of bluish color so i picked this one finally i have this tool to review i wanted for a long time or they were didn't have in stock i don't know why i did not receive now the next one tool that it's something new in the stores i see now the little organizer is supposed to be magnetic for the needles. It's uh, definitely much uh, smaller than I thought would be because I didn't look on the size of the writing up there. All I know, I just look, you know, on the picture, always look bigger. So have this work. Oh, this is actually a regular, just like a regular box, to be honest. And we have a slice of magnet in here. I thought that the whole thing on the bottom is magnetic. Not we need to put magnet on the inside, which is uh, that's what will hold your uh, needles in here. Will stick needles. So uh, this one probably this probably not going to stick to this part but we have to put needles in here we'll see so we do have a needles in here um, in our cross stitch kits so we will test this out how it's work uh, I like that it has a window on the inside which is reflecting absolutely everything and it's easy to open okay cool we will check this I'm going to open this and we will see we will put some needles in here to see how this holds. Now, another new thing that I saw, and I need the cutter. Uh, there's a new scissors up there. There's like a very interesting shape of them. I wanted to see actual size and if they are sharp or not, if they are good for crafting or stitching or just a forgotten paper I wasn't sure so I ordered one pair to show you and see if we're going to like it or not okay so it does has a their own um, like a nice packaging which is also going to be nice if you decide to order uh, as a gift for somebody so let's see Let's see. Because of this uh, big opening in here, so I thought maybe this will be more comfortable for those who have like a, a little bit bigger hands, you know, we're all different. 
and uh, some other scissor has like a very little opening maybe it's not comfortable for you this one looks like it's wide opening nice stainless steel scissors um, let's see it's very little blade in here my other scissors that we use in like a much longer but what I want to see and what I like this is the band you see how it's banded so if you cut your threads let's say from underneath of the canvas you flip this pointy bandy like upwards so that way when you cut your thread underneath without looking you're not gonna cut your actual canvas or more than you need um, and this one I just want to see if, if this is close and nice or not I want to see a light hold on hold on hold on have to look I don't know I see or oh, this is visually hold on I'm going to try to cut maybe a little bit this is a no it's okay it's cut but it feels like the tip is holding. See that the tip is kind of holding, so I don't know. It's not maybe for everything to cut. It cut okay, but if to cut and let go, it kind of holding. I don't know why. So the tip itself maybe not as close together. I feel like it has a little bit room between blade and unless this is reflection I don't know anyway it's something that I wanted to review I would say when I hold um, it kind of this on my way on the thumb not very comfortable I would say I don't know it looks tight to go but I'm just surprised that it's kind of mm, when it's cut it doesn't cut almost all the way through it kind of tip is still sticking in it I don't know okay so we will try this to cut actual threads later and see if this get any good but just to cut the thread underneath uh, you know when you stitch in it will do work but if you want to do like a tip maybe project to cut it out with the tip maybe this one is wouldn't be for that we'll see later now i have in here joy sunday and i have one no brand name and it's a very very gorgeous picture that i would love to share with you and look at that cat this is very beautiful cat I can see already how much of black color I will have to stitch as a background but he is so beautiful in here those flowers mm, he's like glowing he's a very very pretty kitty in here this design is 40 by 50 centimeters 148 by 191 in stitches so I guess we will have all 40 colors no 42 colors it's even more than I thought okay oh no it's a 16 count uh, canvases have 40 colors you know what by looking on this design on this um, I think it will be looks really really nice I think this canvas look very good by looking on a picture okay so here it is uh, of our tools that I want to actually to test this magnet that was um, came together so with this tool we have obviously our um, device I mean not device but usually it's a five needles here they are Okay, if you hear an extra noise, uh, Daisy, my golden retriever, argue up there with herself by the door. Okay, so there you go. It's, oh, 
okay obviously it's sticking to this magnet I just have to peel it to glue in here but it does uh, this magnet will work you just have to peel it in here and you can put your extra needles in here if you wanna go somewhere and it's actually I'm just going to keep these needles in here because these needles are amazing if you don't believe me order one of this nut brand uh, canvases needles are very very good and now at the same time we can compare that I thought this exactly the same tool go into this I will call it Mickey Mouse but they are a little bit different if we compare the the smaller side you see it's a little bit different design in here like it's more longer in here and this one side also uh, there is a difference on this hook okay so i thought it's going to be exactly the same one but no, this one longer thinner so maybe will be more even comfortable to go through the needle which we do have a needle and we can actually see right now we can test it out so I will test the smaller side first go very nicely through and then let's try the other side go like a butter very nice and easy and of course this piece will go through any needle it's very big opening but it's very easy go through okay that's awesome I love that tool and of course this extra box amazing too I'm just going to peel later the magnet and stick after camera so we don't fight with it right now all right canvas itself let's see the kitty cat he looks actually amazing because by by the way i'm seeing it have like in here on the paper we kind of see a little bit better maybe i'll show you a little bit better on the paper you're not going to copy any of this because usually people cautious to show the pattern but uh in here i can see actual cat his head there's some flowers in here so it's more visibility that is it is a cat and we can recognize him and the way so many changes of the colors in here and maybe even some area confetti that's what tell me that canvas will have a very beautiful outcome so far what I stitched with my two non-brand canvases I love it I love it always uh, it just I wish the canvases wasn't as tough as it is but it's easy to soften soften them and I already show you tutorial how to do that now the awesomeness is the threads to see what kind of threads we have okay do we have a oh you know what that is not black okay that's not black all this background that we see this is actually dark dark blue it's a very dark blue this is the color actual that you see okay uh yeah i uh, that's really funny because to me it feels like it should be black but i don't mind blue i like to stitch with black as well i, I don't mind now threads some of them colorful for example okay so we have a two palettes in here one has just a few extra colors in here lovely and then look at this oh, I love the bright bright orange look at this that is so pretty so let's start from here slowly to see all the colors and then on this side more purples we have okay, that's nice in here okay now this is okay so this cat I have to say this cat will look beautiful trust me um, 
I don't know how many of you stitch already this kind of canvases. Uh, first, I thought they may be like, you know, not as, well, yes, of course, Joy Sunday. We can compete with Joy Sunday. They are better than these designs, but this designs is so much better than those DIY cross stitch. Oh my goodness, I do not recommend DIY cross stitch. They are so bad. But this one is good, so I'm happy with this kitty cat. Okay, let's put the rest of the tools back in here. Uh, there's uh, many, many new designs arriving in the store lately. Check it out. Uh, lots of designs of Joy Sunday, and same thing, lots of new designs in this kind of brand. Uh, the only thing, I don't think it's separated on the pencil, or no, I don't think they separate. Uh, I, okay, I don't remember. No, I think they do have. They do have. Okay, just check it out. Now, in here I have collection. A uh, collection of three kind of series of the same designs in here. Now, there's supposed to be one more fourth one, but it's not... Didn't get into this package. I don't know. Maybe they ship separately. I will see that. So in here, it looks to me like it's um, maybe not in English names in here, but we will start, let's start with first one. Uh, and it's a lots of this kind of looks like a, or bird houses, or I don't know what kind of houses this is, but if that's a cute little canvases if you don't like to work with big one. And collections, it's always fun to, um, to do a collection. For example, the collection I'm doing the seasons, I already finished winter and spring. And it's kind of, I'm looking forward to do next one for the summer. So same thing in here. But this one, I think more collection like uh, houses with the maybe birth flowers because every house has different uh, flowers. So in here, I don't know, is this the name that's have you read in English or this is name? Because some of the design I think up there that have even um, maybe even in Polish uh, country uh, different and like a, an actual design with some words saying that definitely not English. This one I don't know if that's the name of this flowers. Seriously, I don't know the name of this flower. So I'm not even pronounced the name in here, but this is a 14 count Ada, 30 by 34. And let me see, no, they not the same sizes. And that's what I was hoping all design will be like same. No, all of them have a different sizes. All right. So 30 by 34 centimeters. So let me show you. Love those blue flowers up there on the top. And whatever the yellow flowers, have no idea. But I love, love, love this house in here. I love this broken, like, um, a plaster that you can see brick underneath, all those cracks that actually people designing specifically like this. I like the windows and doors with this kind of like um, iron or whatever that is design. It looks beautiful. It will be tons of backstitching, I promise you. And we already know this because we review with you some other um, kind of similarity of these designs that have lots of uh, backstitch. What was that? Oh, the little shops. Remember we just did with you not long ago? Uh, so what do we have is the, like literally see like outline absolutely everything. So yes, tons and tons of backstitch. But what else we have in here? Let's see. Uh, I see some half stitches. Ooh, look at that. That's a lot of colors. We have 45 colors in full stitch. Wonderful. A half stitch. We have six. Okay, sorry about that. I had to stop my video. So yes, French knots in two colors. And then we have back stitch in four colors. Lots of lots of stitches, good stuff, and it's very colorful. So the French knots, as you can see, we have in the centers of those yellow flowers. And uh, yeah, half stitch mostly go around for the background. And everything is outlined in a back stitch, lots of back stitching. 
but the canvases is nice like a medium stiffness of this one kind of pastel colors but good good clarity good clarity look you can see all symbols very nicely if I can keep my hand steady I think we can see very well so this is one of the house and look at the, the the colors in here of the threads are so cheery and bright lots of yellow and green mostly in here of course because of the nature of this design as always two needles in here which lately I don't stitch with them lately I'm stitching with this needles they are super good for both canvases 11 and 14 I promise you you have to try it uh, unless sometimes maybe could be different needles but I do stitch right now my 14 count with the particular needles and I love it, it goes so smoothly very very easy to do uh, all right so number two we have what kind of house we have in here the most beautiful one did not show up that I actually really, really was hoping to get. I don't know. Uh, let's see. This one is Narcissus. Narcissus? Is that the one would be in English as well? Is that an English word? I know in my, in my language, Narciss. So it's kind of similarity on a name. And we go with a little fence up there. Nice window shutters, the chimney, and lots of flowers around. So yeah, all of these designs will be um, similar on the colors, I would say, of the threads. Uh, they all 14 count, Ada, so just so I don't repeat maybe myself. But this one size 29 by 34. Okay, so a little bit different. The first one was 30 by 34. So this one also has a 34, but this one 30 and this one 29. So one centimeter uh, shorter. And how many colors in here? We need the center page, 42. So it's the same colors, right? 42 and 42. Backstitch, we have a seven more backstitch in here, two French knot and two of backstitch. Or oh, did they say, did they say half stitch or backstitch? Half stitch, half stitch, seven colors, and backstitch in two colors. Okay, now this. Uh, pattern printed is super pastel colors maybe even too light maybe even too light some of that light light pink up there is really kind of blend into purples you, you still can see it but this is it's just too light colors even for me I would say you should print it a little bit more maybe darker but visibility is beautiful look the, the canvas is beautiful, symbols nice, it's just a very, 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 very light, especially on the bottom in here, you see, how light up there, those purples and pinks, it's kind of even hard to see, you need a, maybe even magnifier, I don't know, okay, let's see the um, colors, threads, the threads, the threads, Kind of very similar. It's almost like the same even palette. Wow. Okay, let's see. Is it very look alike? I say so. It's almost like identical. So I guess lots of the same colors go to both canvases. So when you stitch one, definitely you can share leftover threads to the other palette. So you keep them all together because lots of this will be repeated. All right, my friends, let's see one more. One more of this house and we should have in here more colorful threads because we have in here tea rose. Okay, this one is 29 by 32. 
centimeters and here is design of this one I really really love those roses up there tea rose uh, with these buds after they uh, over bloom you pick them up you dry them and then you can make your tea with it it smell and taste really really good so that's what I drink tea of uh, in Ukraine I would collect them mm, look at this fancy house in here beautiful warm colors isn't it looks amazing looks amazing let's see what kind of colors we have in here do we have a more colors oh look at this palette in here so full stitch full stitch full stitch full stitch 45 colors in here so yes a little bit more six colors in half stitch one color in french knot and four colors in back stitching so we have a little bit more extras in here and this palette definitely more brighter look at this happy colors in here beautiful beautiful nice this orange is so nice and warm and canvas and canvas there you go beautiful you actually see house and everything it's a like nice size canvas to start and finish quickly that's a beautiful collection I would love to do more collections like this maybe after my sampler and we can do some more collections of this if somebody else of you have this kind I like to work together with you when you have the same canvases as I do and we create this beautiful you know like cross stitch Wednesday we do together all this European town all together then on Sunday you bring in whatever you wish and we stitch all Sunday for an hour or more so I have one more canvas left but I need to replace my battery battery changed and we have one of the Christmas design who missed snow and all this festive stuff I didn't <laughs> I'm still looking forward for the summer but I love to see pictures of winter stuff because you always think okay when it's a hot outside maybe you want to start on something that is wintry okay this canvas looks nice and chubby and big and it's such a cute and adorable it's called Christmas gift tree 14 count Ada 59 by 49 centimeters now look how happy this design is so many cuteness in here overload we have amazing snowman he's smiling he has a broom a bird flying over him oh look his wife <laughs> she's so cute and there's a bandana and she has an ornament put in on the top of the christmas tree everybody's decorating here is their little baby boy snowman then we have a little fox up there birds and well that's interesting i thought this little guy is supposed to sleep in the winter i guess not everybody wake up for the time yeah they sleep they fall asleep on a fall time um hedgehog yes uh one time scare me uh i will tell you a story when <laughs> I went to the woods to pick up the mushrooms on a fall time and when those persini mushrooms grow I saw under the birch tree a little like lots of leaves gathered together and that's what usually uh, mushrooms grow you just have to open those leaves and a beautiful mushroom would be there but instead of that when I tried to unfold the leaves I saw strange noise, noises like this <laughs> hedgehog was preparing for the sleep so I disturbed him so I just covered back with the leaves and he went to sleep so I'm actually really really surprised to see him in here in the winter that is totally <laughs> but yes it's a whimsical we all know the snowman not alive too so if he has in here he even brought his mushrooms as a gift see I didn't lie they like mushrooms that's why I mixed them up with the mushroom oh my goodness okay that's cute lots of cute and yes there's a squirrel in here and a fox two three birds four birds 
that's a very happy design i like it i like it so many characters you can stitch just like separate canvas by the characters and stitch one at a time of the character instead of like cross country cross country 45 colors in here in full stitch two colors in french knots and that's going to be for the eyes of the snowman i can see that already backstitch one two three four five six seven colors in backstitch oh i love this design it's so happy that i just couldn't help it even i wanted to stay away from winter but it's just uh, just way too cute right let's see what kind of threads oh look how happy threads when you think winter you would think blue but look at this variety of threads in here this is such a beautiful palette in here oh lots of this nice yellow oh yellow we will have another on a sky for this beautiful uh sunrise i think or sunset what do you think i think it's a sunrise what a beautiful gray color in here that's pretty and then we have some purples and there's some teal and blue beautiful colors with the beautiful are orange up there very pretty and of course as always two needles now let's see the actual canvas it is kind of you know it's a big size of it there lots of uh, same color background okay let's check one more time this piece of paper in here okay i see there is like a lots of this um, very light blue color so obviously we have lots of that and then this banks of the snow that create the shadow area and same thing big patches and the sky of the same color so this is not very difficult design at all actually very easy to stitch the full stitch but then of course tons and tons of back stitch but that's what will create all the character you will see nicely and clear there you go that's our canvas medium stiffness not as soft but it's much softer than the 11 count from no brand so this one is good nice colors in here symbols clarity okay it's good looks good looks good to me and it's super cute oh my god i i love it i just love it it's a it's a very happy design that's what i'm saying cartoonish kind of take you to your childhood when you used to watch all these cartoons of christmas all those cute characters and maybe that's why i kind of fell in love with it look at this beautiful fluffy snow on a tree very frosty morning i would say you can see you can even stitch maybe add in here something like sparkle threads silver threads metallic to make a snow oh yeah that's a good idea to add some metallic threads to make a snow sparkle look at the behind the snowman nice fluffy snow pine trees beautiful love it okay my friends what do you think about today's video which one was your favorite uh, I also really really like this cat it's just pictures super gorgeous of this cat so I don't know if you like this or not I will say that prices for 11 count it's a lots of threads right so for the amount of threads you receive and you think how much you would pay money to buy those threads in a store skein by skein it's not bad price at all I would say it's a very good price and affordable and Fansell probably the most affordable store their prices are really really good I would say maybe even cheapest I don't know and lots of product always something new check it out and if you did not see my other video that I already did the review from this big haul unboxing please check it out because we have lots of product to discover so I hope you like this video I really enjoy I love it and I don't even know which one my favorite for today uh, help me to choose <laughs> which one was your favorite I will read your comments I promise 
I will see you tomorrow also with something new on my channel. Have a good day, everyone.